Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Have you ever wondered how cloud computing works? If so, you're watching the right video. Today we're going to discuss what cloud computing is, and we'll be seeing exactly how cloud computing works, and we'll also look into what software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service are. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Let's jump into it. So what is cloud computing? The word cloud means the data is stored using a network of remote servers on the internet. If you store the data on your computer, it's called storage. Whereas if you store data on someone else's computer, which can be accessed through the internet, it's called cloud storage. To put it in simple terms, cloud is simply shifting the workload from local computers to a network of computers that make up the cloud. Now the whole idea of cloud probably makes a lot more sense. Cloud computing is nothing more than computing done with the help of the network of remote servers on the internet. It can be software or it can be the entire platform. So now let's look at the basics of how cloud computing actually works. There is a computer or software and this is the main unit that will perform the task. If you're talking about software as a service, it can be software. The software is installed on the computer or the server in X location. Usually it's a server because a single computer can't take all of the load. The entire server is connected to the internet. The server is programmed in such a way that anyone who has access to the internet can use this software. Of course, to access the server, you will need to open the IP address of the domain name of the server. Then the user will have to register on the server for authentication. Then they can start using the software installed on the server from their computer. All of the things work on the internet as the user doesn't install the entire software onto their computer. It's called cloud computing. In this way, the user can access the details without having to install anything on their computer. Now that we've discussed what cloud computing is, and looked at the basics of how cloud computing works, let's look at the differences between software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. So SaaS stands for software as a service. So software as a service is, as you might have guessed, when you are using any software as a service from the internet. Some of the software as a service applications will be free, whereas some of them you will have to pay a small monthly or annual fee to access and use. You can easily use most of the software as a service directly by opening up the website from the browser. So let's talk about how this works and see an example. A great example here can be Dropbox or Google Workplace. Google Workplace is nothing but all of the Google applications that you use. It includes Gmail, Sheets, Docs, etc, etc. Now you're currently watching this video on YouTube, so therefore you're actually using a software as a service, which is YouTube. YouTube is a software that you can access directly by opening it in the browser. So let's look at this a bit more. If you use maybe Microsoft Excel on your computer, you're using the software. In the same way, if you're using Google Sheets, you're using software as a service. Here you're accessing the software that is stored in Google's server. So now let's look at platform as a service. As you might have guessed, this is when the entire platform is provided to you as a service. This is the place where you can't only just access software, but you can access the entire platform. Using platform as a service, one can create their applications. So therefore, platform as a service is mostly used by developers. Google App Engine is a good example of a platform as a service. Here you can host your application without any worries. To create and host your application, you will need an entire platform. So here, platform as a service is used. The entire platform is provided to you via the internet. You can easily create your application using a platform that is stored at a remote location. Some more examples of a platform as a service would be AWS Elastic Beanstalk, Windows Azure, and Heroku. And now let's look at infrastructure as a service. Sometimes you will need a lot more than just a platform or just software. If this is the case, you can use infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure includes access to storage, computing features, networking, and all of the other services. An example of infrastructure as a service would be AWS. Amazon Web Services provide all the things that you will require. AWS allows you to access all the things that are available in the infrastructure. 
all the things are connected to the internet and the user can access all of them. For example, if a person is using software as a service, then he or she can only access the main software. If they want to edit or modify something in the software, they will have to use platform as a service. In the same way, if they want to access all of the services such as networking and storage and so on, then they can go with infrastructure as a service. So the most common would be software as a service, since that's the one that's used by most everyday people. But if you're a developer or a server administrator, you might come across platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. So there we have it. We've discussed what cloud computing is at a high level, looked at the basics of how cloud computing works, and also gone over what differentiates software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. As always, if you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.